chop, 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 chop around the clock. One, two, three, look out, trees. Oh, a woodcutter's life is the life for me. <laughs> what in the world? I repaired the bridge only yesterday, and now some blighter's gone and destroyed it again. If I ever find out who did this, I swear I'll... Ta-da! You called? Tricky devil at your service! <laughs> I went to a lot of trouble to smash at this stupid bridge! I'm not about to let you fix it again! Here! Get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam! <laughs> You're a silly old woodcutter. The next minute, you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius. <laughs> now, what mischief shall I get up to next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time. <laughs> My doggy, stay. <laughs> Treasure chest! I think I've just hit upon my most devilish trick yet! What the heck just happened? You touched that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well, all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. What did you just... Oh, cheeky devil! Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! <laughs> Let's do this.
happening? Looks like the joke's on me this time. Eh. Uh. Hey there! You two! <laughs> oh, look! It's our pal the Pooch! <laughs> Not anymore! Thanks to you, I'm back to my old self. I'm Flint the Woodcutter, by the way. And I owe you more than words can possibly say. How can I ever repay you? It's funny you should ask. We were hoping that some kind soul might fix that bridge the monster smashed up. It would be my pleasure. Why don't you go back to my cabin and put your feet up? I'll have it mended for you in no time flat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Much obliged. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. You don't hang about, huh? Thanks. You've really helped us out. Now, young fellow, about this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life, as some call it. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. The glowing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil, a piece of root poking through from beneath. It's said that the World Tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing, but did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the World Tree. And you've got grey hair, too. Life just isn't fair. <laughs> so not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favourite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on.
Another one bites the dust. Cooking your favorite stew. It'll be ready any minute now. You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Well, set the table and I'll just give it a last little stir. Whoa! Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? Nonsense are you talking? My boy is six years old. Who do you think you are, waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not? Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant. Don't make me say it twice. 
Dad, can I borrow your ladder? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off and now it's stuck up a tree. <laughs> well, we can't be having that now, can we? Let me go and find it for you. Hmm? We don't need the ladder anymore. Man over there got my headscarf down for me. He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. I think it might be me he's looking for, you know. Why don't you two run along and play and leave us grown ups to talk? All right. <laughs> well, well, well. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it. I've known you since you were a baby, after all. I knew it was you right away. But you don't look too happy, my lad. Care to tell you, old Grandad, what's on your mind? I see. So, you're from a future where I'm no longer around. Well, well. And King Carnelian went and threw you in the dungeon. And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything, instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. 
but you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that? Hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. Oh, oh but what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grow up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. Always saw me, right? Bye now. for getting Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play any time you like. <laughs> it's ages since so i got to go home. What should we play now? Well, we could play, um... Are you okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. <sighs> I can't believe they do this. And just because you grew up here? What kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing, and so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those visions? Wow. So you... You went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... and yourself? That is seriously weird. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on. Thank you. 
Another one bites the dust. Letters, huh? The top one there's seen better days, that's for sure. My dearest, darling baby boy, when finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escape to safety. If you are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the King of Heliodor when you come of age. Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations and your father and I would trust him with our lives. Never forget, my son, you are a prince of the kingdom of Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. But it is the only way I only hope that one day you will learn to forgive me. It's from someone important to you, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? To my dearest grandson. I haven't the foggiest how you managed it, but I met your future self today. As promised, I've buried some things here that will help you on your way. Have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the King when the time came. I only wish I'd known how things would turn out. I don't know why Dundrasil was attacked, or why King Carnelian thinks so badly of you. I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. But I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. The keystone in this box will open the door of departure off to the east. You must go out into the world and seek the truth. Remember now, don't waste your time bearing grudges and live life with love in your heart. All the best, now and forever. Grandad. So we use the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. You said it was just east of here, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, I know what we're waiting for. I've got some unfinished business to attend to. The orb. The King's Barrow is not too far from here. Just down the way, in fact. 
Let's go claim what's rightfully mine. <laughs>